Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are well by the grace of almighty Allah welcome to NIEBS homeschool this is Fatima Sabrin Shekha assistant teacher of English national ideal English version school morning tip today I'm going to take English language class for the students of class 3 on the topic of chapter 27 conjunctions I'm repeating today our topic is chapter 27 conjunctions students this is our 12th lecture and 10th homework I'm repeating this is our 12th lecture and 10th homework students take your new enjoying grammar book and open page number 89 page number 89 conjunctions with your book take your notebook and writing elements we'll discuss about conjunction and we'll do some exercises so first you have to know what is conjunction conjunctions are some words that connect some words sentences phrases in a whole sentence so we'll learn about more so let's begin chapter 27 conjunctions we'll learn about some rules of conjunctions and first I want to inform you that and but or so because these are called conjunctions because these words connect some words sentences or clauses so first rule is we use and to join sentences when their meaning is related I'm repeating we use and to join sentences when their meaning is related for example we can say Rani is tall another sentence Rani is thin here we are talking about the girl Rani we are saying that Rani is tall and again saying about Rani that she is thin so we'll mix these sentences together by using conjunction we can say Rani is tall and thin look here we mix two sentences by adding and Rani is tall and thin number two we use and to join three or more sentences so again where we can use and we can use and to join three or more sentences for example we can say Rani is tall Rina is short Ritu is thin Rita is fat so here we find four sentences look this one Rina is tall number one Rani is tall Rina is short number two number three Ritu is thin and number four Rita is fat so we can add all these sentences together by adding conjunction and we can say Rani is tall we have to use comma then we can say Rina is short again comma Ritu is thin and Rita is fat by using comma we use and here and now this is one sentence we make four sentences and we find one sentence by using conjunction now number three we also use and to join a list of words I'm repeating we also use and to join a list of words so if we find a lot of words we can add the words by using and for example look this I like apples oranges bananas and mangoes we can say I like apples I like oranges I like bananas I like mangoes so these are separate sentences but, but we add all the words together by using and then the sentence is I like apples oranges 
bananas and mangoes. Now it's one sentence. Next, we use but to join sentences when their meanings contrast with each other. Look again, the rule says we use but to join sentences when their meanings contrast with each other. Look at this example. Sunita is clever but lazy. Look here, we are talking about a girl named Sunita and we are talking about her qualities. Here we are saying she is clever and on the other side we are saying that she is lazy. So we are comparing her qualities. She is clever but lazy. So contrasting or comparing someone's quality, we have to use but. Sunita is clever but lazy. Next, we use or to join sentences, phrases or words to show that only one of the choices will take place. I'm repeating, we use or to join sentences, phrases or words to show that only one of the choices will take place. For example, we can say, do you walk to school or do you take the school bus? Here, you can choose. You can choose the school bus or you can walk to school. So when you find any choosing topic, you have to use or. You have to use or. Next, we use so to show the reason of something. I'm repeating, we use so to show the reason of something. Look this example, I worked hard so I came first in the class. I worked hard so I came first in the class. The example says we use so to show the reason for something. Why you came first? Because you worked hard. So our sentence is I worked hard so I came first in the class. Next, we use because when we have to give a reason or to answer the question why. I'm repeating the rule. We use because when we have to give a reason or to answer the question why. For example, we can say, why did the baby cry? I'm repeating, why did the baby cry? Okay, you have to answer why the baby is crying or why did the baby cry. If we ask any question using why, we have to use because when answering. So, you will answer, the baby cried because she was hungry. Look, I ask you or someone ask you the reason of the crying of the baby. So, you have to use because to explain the reason. Okay, students, I hope you understood the rules properly. And now we'll do some exercise based on these rules about conjunctions. So let's do. The question is, complete these sentences with conjunctions from the box. Students, here you can see some words. These are called conjunctions and in this box there are but, or, because, so. From this you have to fill these gaps correctly. Okay, so we'll do this, fill in the blanks. Number A, I went to sleep, dash, I was very tired. Okay, why you went to sleep? Okay, you have to answer. Because, because you were tired. I went to sleep because I was very tired. It means because of tiredness, I went to sleep. So in the gap, we have to use because. B, E, C, A, U, S, E. Because, I went to sleep because I was very tired. Number B, we were ready on time gap, we still missed the bus. 
Okay, here this is positive sentence. We were ready on time. Okay. Next, we still missed the bus. Why? Why you missed the bus? So think about it. Which word can be appropriate here? But, or, because, so. Which one? If we say we were ready to, on time, but we still missed the bus, or miss the bus, because miss the bus. Think about it. Can you think, students, which one will be correct? Okay, I hope you guessed the correct word. We were ready on time, but we still miss the bus. B U T. But. So in the gap, you have to use but. We were ready on time, but we still miss the bus. Number C, Tasnim woke up late gap. She was late for school. Okay, I will find Tasnim who woke up late and she was late for school. So you have to find some word which is suitable in the gap. Think that which one will be correct? Can you think? Okay. Say the sentence again. Tasnim woke up late. Dash, she was late for school. Okay, that's name woke up late, so she was late for school. So, okay, next number D. I visited the dentist, dash, my tooth was hurting. I visited the dentist. Why? Think positively, my tooth was hurting. Yes, you easily find the answer because I visited the dentist because my tooth was hurting. So in the gap, we have to write because. B, E, C, A, U, S, A. Because. If I ask you, the question will be with using why. So when we ask any question using why, we have to use because. Okay, now come to number E. I don't know if they will be at home dash not. Students think when you want to meet your friend, you say, I don't know whether my friend is at home or not. You don't know, you're not sure. So in this situation, we have to use the conjunction or. So in the gap, we have to use or. I don't know if they will be at home or not. O, R, or. Okay, now come to number F. Do you want to go to the zoo dash to the circus? Okay, we are comparing where you want to go, at the zoo or to the circus. Okay, so while comparing, we have to use or. Again, we have to write here. Or, do you want to go to the zoo or to the circus? Number G, I was feeling hot, dash, I switched on the fan. Okay, so I'm feeling hot, the weather is very hot, so I have to switch on the fan. Here we find the word so. Okay, so we have to write here, so I was feeling hot, so... I switched on the fan. Number H, the telephone was ringing, dash, Preeti could not hear it. Think about the sentence, the telephone was ringing. Here's positive side and their negative side. Preeti could not hear it. So it must be, but. The telephone was ringing, but Preeti could not hear it. In the gap, we have to write but. B U T. But. Number I. Naina is resting. Gap. She is not well. Okay. Why Naina is resting? She is not well. Okay. So we have to write which one? Which word will be in the gap? Naina is resting because. In the gap, we have to write because. B E C A U S E. Because. 
Nana is resting because she is not well. Okay, now number J. Anand will be here on Thursday. Gap, Friday. We don't know when. Thursday, Friday. So in the gap, what will be the word? Think that, what will be the word? Thursday or Friday? Yes, I said the answer. So in the gap, we have to write on. Anand will be here on Thursday or Friday. We are comparing, we don't know. Now students, it's time to give your homework. Your homework will be exercise A to J. That means this one, exercise A to J. And please don't write the whole question, just write only answer. Only answer. Exercise A to J, only answer. No need to pick all these questions. Please, I'm again requesting you not to write all this. Just write the answer correctly. And don't forget to write the lecture number and homework number with the submission date. Our lecture number is 12 and homework number is 10. And the submission date will be the date of Sunday. Because on every Sunday, you have to submit your SW copies. Students, do your homework in your SW copy. Guardians or anyone else can submit your SW copies on every Sunday and can collect your previous copies on next Sunday. You need to be serious because you will get your CT, diary and SP marks on the basis of the submission of your SW copies. That's all for today. Hope you have understood today's topic. Keep practicing at home and abide by your parents. Stay well and see you again. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.